for her clients' rights. She was elected to the bench because she believes in doing the right thing. I'm very passionate about helping people, period. Sometimes life pulls you from up here to down here to teach you a lesson. And you're in a valley right now. And there are lessons in this valley. I hope you learn from them. Objective, independent justice. You can always turn your life around. If you keep walking, you can overcome whatever circumstances you're facing. This is Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. Denise Harvey is suing Rachel Burns in the amount of $2,075 for the cost of a television set Ms. Harvey says Ms. Byrne ruined. Ms. Harvey. Yes. You are suing Ms. Burns for $2,075 for property damage. Yes. What's your relationship, ma'am, with this lady? Um, we're not related, we're just family friends. You're friends? Yes, we're Okay, friends. so how long have you known each other? I've known her family for about two years now. Okay, and so what happened? Why are we here? Well, I employed her to watch my home for the weekend. And How much did you pay her to watch your house for the weekend? I paid her $100. What did you have at your house that you needed somebody to watch it? Actually, it was, it was helping her because she wanted to stay there. She had a friend coming down, and my house, I have a large home, and she... Where she, do you live? I live in Chicago. Uh -huh. There are houses in the city of Chicago? I thought Chicago was like New York, very few houses. No, I live near the lake. Oh, okay. You have a house near the lake? Yes. Okay. Yes. And she wanted to come over and invite her friend, one friend over, and just stay the, the weekend there. It w right. And I told her it was fine because she's very responsible. Well, why did you say I hired her to watch my house? Did you hire her to watch because your house or did she pay you to have her friends come? Well, my husband and I and my daughter were going out of town. Uh -huh. And so it just made sense to have her come over and watch my house. And she could you also... You don't have an alarm system? I do, but she How also... How long were you going to be out of town? Um, just for about five days. Uh huh. But she she called me wanting to come over and, and house it. And right. I thought that it would be fine. So was she house we sitting both... and you were paying her to house it? Yes. We were How going... much were you paying her? I paid her $100 for the weekend. But I thought you said it was five days. No, I was gone for five days. She came over only for the weekend. So she was just going to watch your house for yes, the weekend? Yes, because I was... The other days your house was just going to sit there unwatched? Yes, because I was doing her a favor. She, she wanted somewhere to bring her, her girlfriend from out of town to stay for the weekend. And then and what so happened? I told her and, that she... and then what happened? Well, she, um, after I left, um, she came home and then she said that something was wrong with her TV. Uh -huh. And she called me angry and... I had no idea what had happened. I did not leave the window open, and I assumed that one of my friends did. Well, how many people did you have over to her house? Well, I had asked about right. Caitlin, my friend who was coming into town. How many uh, people did you have at her house? It was a total exactly. of three friends. So three a friends. total of four of us, yes. Okay, and there was only supposed to be two of them, not four. And that's my Wait issue. Wait a second. There were three friends, so there were four of you in total? Yes. And there was supposed to be three in total? Two. Her, her and her girlfriend, that's it. Okay. And so what happened with your TV? What's well, someone left the window open in my den. And the den is, is priceless What's to my What's her qualifications to sit house it? What's her qualification? Well, I've been babysitting her daughter for two years. So well, that doesn't mean you me. can house it just because you can babysit. Well, she's done it before for us, and so she's yeah, done a perfectly fine job. this is not my job. first time. So she's house sat for you before? Yes, yeah, she's like family. And so now we, she's like family. She, before she was a friend, because I asked what was the relationship well, like. Be, because we're the only family that she knows here, and she she does work for us quite often. Right. And I, and I how can many trust times her. has she house sat your house? She babysits more than she house sat. How at. many times has she house sat she the house? She house sat probably around three times for us. Three times. Yes. Okay. And this time you say she left a window open. And yes. what happened? It damaged my TV set. Okay. Our, we have a 50 inch in the den. Okay. The window was left open. It rained heavily that night. Right. And, and the TV is no longer working. Plus, So when you came home that night, where was she? She, she had left already because we got home. Right. She only stayed the weekend. Right. We didn't get home until Monday. Right. But soon no, as but I No, but you told me you were gone for five days. Right. When did you leave? We left. Friday evening. 
And you're back home on Monday. That's not five days. That's three okay. days. Three days. I wasn't there. I'm trying to get the facts straight. You get back home, and the window is open, but she had left your house already. Yeah, she was already gone. Your TV I... was damaged. Right. And it was a $2,075 TV. Right. And you say? Um, well, she called me, and she was angry, and she was screaming at me. I heard and, that. Um, I apologized because I did not know what happened. I immediately apologized. Right. But I was not the one who left the window open. Well, one of your friends left the window open. Exactly. Okay, so why are we arguing about it? You were responsible for the house, right? And that's my problem. Excuse me, you were responsible for the house, right? I was. Okay, so anything that happens during the time where you're responsible for the house is your what? It's my responsibility. Exactly, so why are we in court today? That's, this is easy. Y'all didn't need me to decide this. Coming up on Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. And all I wanted was accountability. She, she, she says, I'm sorry, but she's, she's never said, you know, I'm sorry. I, I you want to say you're sorry? You're watching Supreme Justice with Judge Karen. We're back with the case of Denise Harvey, who is suing Rachel Burns for the cost of a flat panel television set. You brought some people into her house at your direction, and those people left the window open. It's your responsibility because you are house sitting. And all I wanted was accountability. She, she, she says, I'm sorry, but she, she's never said, you know, I'm sorry. I, I you want to say you're sorry? I do, but she expects me to pay for her TV. You're going to pay for the TV. I cannot afford that. You're going to pay for the TV. And, and I also need for her to pay for my couches. Um, as soon as so I you got a couch that was well, messed up too? She, they were smoking in my house, and she knows I that I do not allow smoke in my house. Your you Honor, were smoking in I was house. not smoking wait, wait, in my house. Wait, wait, stop. Was one of those friends that you invited over smoking in the house? I think so. I then you may as well have been smoking in the house. Exactly. Yourself. Exactly. Okay, I don't need an amen corner. Let me see these receipts. Okay, so... To steam clean the sofas was $75. Right. And this is a receipt for the TV. How old is the TV? The TV is close to a year old. And you paid $2,000 for it? Yes. All right, I'm looking at the sworn statement you gave in the case, and you say that they are like family to you. You've even spent the holidays with them. That is correct. Yeah. Okay, so you understand that if you don't make up with this lady, that your relationship is over. Yes. You can't just find good friends like that every day. I just talked to somebody yesterday. They said they spent Thanksgiving and Christmas here by themselves. Do you want to spend a cold winter in Chicago at Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's by yourself? No, I do not. But well, then I... you need to grow up, little Thank girl, you. and apologize for what happened to her house. I apologize you brought... the night after. And accept accountability. Would you... Do you agree that you were responsible because you brought your friends in there? And what your friends do, you're responsible for because you brought them in there? Do you agree with that? Does that make sense to you? No. I'm not talking to you. Yes, Your Honor. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Do you understand now why you are responsible? Because you brought them into the house? You understand that, yes, right? Yes, I do. Okay. But I cannot afford to pay for her TV. We'll work out a payment plan. Because I read also in your, uh, in your sworn statement that you're a freelance writer, so you must make some money. I do, but I also go to school at the same time. It's, it's stressful. I, I can't I, I, afford to pay for a TV. Okay, but you're going to pay for it over time. Now, how much can you afford to pay per month until you've paid it off? Honestly, maybe $50. 50 You can live with that. You got a big old house on the lake in Chicago. You can take $50 a month. I'll accept that. What about that? There she goes. She's going to take $50 a month beginning next month, the first of the month, until the balance of $2,075 is paid off. That works out, right? That's yes, no skin your off your back. Now, you want to apologize to this lady like you mean it? Miss Harvey, I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I apologize. You're aware that you left the window I open? I am aware that it was... That you should have been responsible. That it was my fault that the window was left open and the reason why your TV is damaged is my And the smoke my in the house. Fault. Yes, okay. I apologize. Okay. You're going to hug on it, shake on it? Sure. We can shake on it. <laughs> no, we can hug. It's... it's okay. All right, then judgment is for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,075 
Uh, and I'm going to put the defendant on a payment plan to pay $50 a month beginning on the 1st. Good luck to you both. Thank you. All rise. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $2,075. I'm glad that we came here and we solved the issue, and I accept full responsibility for your TV damage and your couch damage. I accept your apology, and I'm glad that we worked it out.